Hi everyone. Today I've got a picture of me and my oldest grand and I can see she's got major red eye. I'm going to have to find that pen <laughs> that takes out the red eye. Okay, I am using the Simple Stories Indigo Garden, simply simply or simple vintage indigo garden and this is the one that I picked up on um, Peachy Cheap and I've got the cardstock die cuts bits and pieces ephemera bits and pieces oh and the other die cuts that are <laughs> ephemera bits and pieces one's like all flowers and the other one's like um, it's got ticket stubs and and little words and stuff like that tags and so I have those right here and then I have the ones that I think I'm going to use right here and then I also got the foam stickers with it and the sticker book and I may or may not use some of these things so we'll see how it goes okay now because the pieces that I, I got five pieces of paper and they were um, mostly very decorative so I found this it is a creative memories purple plaid which looks really good with it um, I kind of had a green picked out too but I didn't like that as much and um, I'm also going to bring in a scrap um, kind of got a weird voice going on today <laughs> I'm going to bring in a scrap that's yellow that I used for something else which I didn't realize it actually looks like it's got words on it but it doesn't matter which way they go because it really looks like scribbles so um, and this is not 12 inches and I'm gonna use it for a border so it needs to be 12 inches so I'm gonna have to work that out now I, I'm doing a happy horizontal or a band and I was gonna do this but I really don't like how it's just heavy, this heavy floral, the plaid, and, and it's just that. And so what I did was took half of this, and the Creative Memories paper is like it's not a true 12 by 12. So I'm gonna bring it down Oh, maybe roughly right around there because I'm also going to stick this in here and down below here so I think I'll go ahead maybe have this down even a little more yeah maybe there by the time I stick that in there and this up in here I think that will be good okay so I'm gonna go ahead and tape this down kind of in the middle because today I am tucking <laughs> no I said I never tuck anything but today I'm gonna tuck something and I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, I gotta make sure my butterflies and birds are going the right way. I think they look like they are. And I'm just gonna line it up here with the plaid. Okay, I think that's good there. And then because my picture is going to be over here, I'm going to go ahead and maybe right about here because I'm going to put this flower over here. So maybe, so I think if I cut this about right here, that should be good. And then I can go ahead and stick this in here once I kind of got the right where I think the right spot is then I can just kind of use the 
plaid to line it up again. Okay. And I'm on the one, two, three down. Get down here. You know what a time I have with this. <laughs> uh, I should have known better and try and do it on the camera, but I thought I would show you that I was that I was using scraps. Okay. So I think that's important to show what how I'm gonna solve the problem. Now if I can just solve my problem with getting it stuck before. Okay, let me see here. If I sneak up on it. <laughs> okay, I know sometimes I see people and they are just slapping it right in the right spot and it's like, how do you do that? I have no idea. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tape that down, making sure I save my spot for my flower because I want enough room for that. And maybe right about there. Since there's plenty of room for everything, you know, anywhere here is good. Okay. Now I am trying to frame it in the dark purple. And I did get it just above it here, but that's, I think that's good anyway. Okay. And I am going to, I'm not going to be sticking anything under the photo so I am going to just go ahead and glue this down okay and I'm gonna put this piece in here and I guess I really can't do that until I find my spot for my embellishment okay so I'm gonna put this piece down here by me and Brenna these flowers are just gorgeous they're so fun and I thought oh with the her beautiful purple dress it would be like the perfect thing and then I've got a little butterfly here and I forgot to get out my little dimensionals. Here they are. Actually, I just haven't picked them up, so they're still here. <laughs> I've been so busy because of canning and everything. It's like, I want to keep up getting pages done, so... I've just got a mess. One well, of these days I'll pick it up. <laughs> Is anybody else the same way? <laughs> it's like sometimes you just gotta leave the mess. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick this right on top of these flowers. And I'm using the flowers that look like the ones on here, so because um, I want to, you know, stay in keeping with the what's here. Okay, and then I am going to use these. It says lovely, and it looks like a 
a ticket and then I'm going to use grow and they also look like a ticket and I'm going to stick it right here so I can cut my paper about right here now I'm going to re or be able to tuck these in now that I know which spaces I'm going to use, and I'm going to guess that this was three, like the other, and if it's a little wider, it won't matter, or a little less, looks like it might be just a little less, but I'm just going to kind of, oh, looks like I'm going to the next one, <laughs> okay. Adjustment. Okay, that looks good there. Better push that down before <laughs> I change my mind. Okay. I think I've seen people where they put tape on the top, and that might have been the better, better idea here. Okay, so I need to stay on top of that. Right. And I've got this all on white paper, and it looks like my white paper is a little bigger than all these other papers, so I will have to trim that when I'm all finished. Okay, this looks like this spot. Okay. And now I've got my little tag or my little tickets and I'm gonna put the purple one and then the green one so that looks like the spot I guess I'll put a little here and a little here and and then I can put extra when I get to that I'm gonna just make sure the words are kind of showing there and it looks like I'm already need more tape. Okay. Now my goal is to cover up that space that I cut out. So right about, I'm gonna pull the road just a little bit more. Okay, and then I have this yellow butterfly right here. I'm gonna put that right over it too. You know, like I do with the minte papers where I kind of layer um, the embellishments over the spot that's already there. And this one is just has something else there first. And I usually kind of leave their antennas on them. And, but in this case, it's like they were so, I had cut off some of the, um, some of the white because it was like the outline was so much and so when I did that and laid it on there it's like wow it just they about glow in the dark so um, I did take that off okay now I'm gonna go right over that same spot and if you see the wings then that's okay because it's right here okay and then I have Let's see, I'm going to use this title that says The Sweet Life. And where am I putting that? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, do I want it right next to that? Maybe I'll stick it right in there. Because that way I will have my um, triangle going. Because it is my goal. <laughs> Sometimes I think, no, nope, it needs something else. And um, and then I'll add something. Okay, now I'm thinking that I want to, I was thinking about using one of these, but I want this bigger thing there, so I don't know if I'm gonna like that. 
I brought that in and just put it a little bit lower. You see what I'm trying to, so I'm thinking about doing that. Or maybe I could just do something like that. Let's see, choose happy what other. Oh, and I was thinking I could put memories, but maybe celebrate. See, I kind of wanted memories, but of course that's a dark one. Okay, photographs. No, nope, that's not it. Okay. Okay, that sticker is a little smaller. If I decide I want to use that, what else was I thinking I could use? I was thinking about putting one of these. Let's see, where do I have? Do I have one to try out? This is a little bigger. I was thinking about sticking one of these in here that said my heart. But I've got all the bloom and grow and I've got other words. Sometimes, you know, you're looking for words and sometimes there's too many words. <laughs> okay, where's the other one I was thinking? And these things are very thin, so you got to be very careful. Okay, and I think I'm going to stick this here. And I'm going to try to get it kind of in the middle so that I see yellow on both sides. Because I love purple and yellow, I love green and yellow. That was what I had my old house done in. Okay, now I'd like this, but now it's going to cover up my words. So I'm going to try to choose one from that other because it's just a little bit smaller. And I was liking the happiness. So lovely, blooming, magical, good life. We've already got the sweet life. Forever, right now. Remember, that would be cute. Let me try that one. Because I think that just that little bit of difference in size should do it. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna cover up some of the heart, and but I can see all I can see the whole word over here. So that way you kind of know that it's there anyway. And then I have this blue butterfly that's right here. So I'm going to stick that there too. Because I kind of wanted to use one of those little borders, but they were just um, not, I mean, it's like I wanted a different word than what they had there. Okay, let's see, could I pull in one more, a different little simple flower. Okay, these are there. Oh, I do have the little hearts. Maybe I'll do that because that way I'm pulling in a word, a heart for the word that I have here all my heart and then I actually have the word I mean the a heart so I think I will do that if I get my little tabs off okay
I'm usually the one taking the picture. So it's like to find a picture that I'm in <laughs> with one of the grants is really awesome. Okay, so I've got that there. And what else was I thinking I was, oh, one of the hearts. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> okay, I think I should pull in maybe this light pink. I think I'm gonna stick it right there and I think I'll stick one over here too because that way I've got a puffy or a foam foam and let me put a little foam sticker over here too oh I don't want to put yellow because I've got lots of yellow let's see and I've got pink I think I'm following this little plaid one I'm really digging him okay and I'm gonna stick that right up there Okay, so I will have close-ups at the end. Oh, I am going to put on some enamel dots because I have green. And it's like my dots are so um, almost gone. So it's like, okay, I need to use some of these other ones so when I place an order, I can get other ones that I'll be running out of. I thought, oh, green is perfect for this. Sometimes um, these like pop off and I think, where, where did that go? And I always think um, I'd just be finding it, wearing it. <laughs> Am I wearing that dot today? Okay. here I'm just gonna do two all right so again I'll have close-ups at the end and I will see you tomorrow have a wonderful day